Welcome back to the Stream Smart series. Today, uh, we're setting up just like we would at a real live event, and we're ready to go live with the Live U Solo Pro. So far, we've unboxed the unit, explored its ports and functions, set up the Solo Portal, and subscribed to Live U LRT bonded streaming services. Now it's time to start streaming with our all new Live U Solo Pro. First things first, we will now connect all the necessary connections to our Live U Solo Pro, including audio, video, internet, and power. There are multiple ways to connect your Live U Solo Pro to a video and audio source directly from a camera, from the output of an audio video switcher, or even from a computer with a video output. Live U Solo Pro comes in models that accept HDMI only, or both SDI and HDMI inputs, so you can choose the one that best fits your workflow. The key is to provide the audio video feed that you want to stream into the Live U Solo Pro. Before we go live, um, let's take a quick look at the setup that's providing our audio and video feed. Here, I'm using the Blackmagic Design ATEM SDI Extreme Switcher. All of my cameras and microphones connect into this switcher and it handles the live mixing. From the ATEM, the final program output is sent out via SDI. This single SDI feed carries both um, audio and video, and that's what we connect directly into the Live View Solo Pro. With this connection in place, the Solo Pro is now receiving the complete live feed ready to stream. Now let's make the necessary connections with the Live View Solo Pro. First, we insert the network dongles and then connect the power and LAN cable on one side of the unit. On the other side, we connect SDI cable carrying the audio and video feed from our ATEM switcher into the Live U Solo Pro. If your setup uses HDMI, simply connect from the switcher's HDMI out or use the HDMI only Live U Solo Pro. Now it's time to power on the unit. Press the power button and wait for it to boot up. Once the startup process is complete, you'll see uh, ready displayed on the screen, which means the Live U Solo Pro is fully powered on and prepared for streaming. Once the unit is powered on, it will automatically unconnect to your Live U Portal account. On the Portal dashboard, you'll see the device status showing online. Next, uh, we'll toggle on the LRT service and select a zone. It's recommended to choose the zone closest to your location. Live Use LRT service uses elastic cloud resources across multiple zones worldwide, ensuring you always get the best streaming performance no matter where you are. Let's now walk through the process of adding a streaming destination. In the bottom left of the portal, you will see a section labeled Destination. Click that box. On the next screen, you'll see various platforms grouped under two categories, OneTouch Streaming and Streaming Destinations. With OneTouch Streaming, you simply log in to the platform, such as Facebook, and follow the guided steps to create a live video post. Streaming Destinations, on the other hand, require a few additional details to be configured, such as the ingress URL and the stream key, sometimes referred to as the stream name. These details can be found on the streaming platforms page and then copied into the Live U Solo portal. For this demonstration, we'll configure YouTube as a streaming destination. We prefer this method over one-touch streaming as it is particularly useful when the client or partner is not comfortable sharing their login credentials. Uh, select RTMP as the destination type and assign it a name. Then configure the video resolution and frame rate. The key fields required are the stream URL and stream key which you can obtain by logging into the YouTube account where you want the stream to go live. To access these details, log in to the target YouTube account and from the Create button in the top right corner of the dashboard, select Go Live. Next, you need to create a new stream and enter the required details. Since this is a demonstration, we'll set the stream to private, but in a live scenario, you may need to select public or the visibility setting that suits your audience. 
But once you save the settings, you'll be directed to the streaming dashboard for your YouTube live stream. At the bottom of this page, you can copy the stream URL and stream key, then paste them into the corresponding fields in your LiveView solo portal to complete the destination setup. But once you're done, click Submit, and you'll see the newly added streaming destination appear at the bottom of the solo portal dashboard. Now we're all set to go live on YouTube. Click go live in the solo portal to start streaming. Once activated, you'll see real-time input and bandwidth information displayed in the status area of the portal. Simultaneously, the Live U Solo Pro screen will update, showing the status change from ready to transmitting. Next, navigate to the YouTube Live dashboard. Here, you'll see the incoming stream from your LiveU solo unit, confirming that the feed is successfully reaching the platform in real time. When you're ready, press Go Live from your YouTube Live dashboard to start streaming directly on your YouTube channel. Finally, open your live stream link in any web browser to verify and confirm that your broadcast is live and running smoothly. As the stream begins, uh, you can also see LiveU's bonding technology in action. Uh, the Solo Pro continuously aggregates multiple network connections, including cellular, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet, to provide a highly reliable and stable live stream. In the portal, you can monitor each connection's status and overall bandwidth, ensuring your stream remains smooth even if one network fluctuates. To stop the stream, the recommended practice is to first stop it on YouTube and then press a stop on the LiveView portal dashboard. This ensures that the session ends cleanly and all connections are properly closed. Similarly, you can stream live to Facebook. Begin by creating a new destination in your LiveView solo portal specifically for Facebook. Log into your Facebook account and select Live Video and Thine. Select Go Live. On the Streaming Setup page, select Streaming Software as your video source and enter the necessary details for your broadcast. Then copy the stream key and server URL provided by Facebook and paste them into the corresponding fields in the destination you created on your LiveView solo portal. Once all the information is entered, click Submit and your Solo Pro will be ready to stream live to Facebook, just as we demonstrated with YouTube. When you're ready, simply click Go Live to begin streaming on Facebook. Under the Status section, you'll see the network upload begin along with LiveU's LRT bonding in action, combining all available connections to ensure a stable and reliable stream. Once you've gone live from your Facebook Live dashboard, you can head over to your Facebook page or profile and watch the stream in action. The broadcast from your LiveU Solo Pro is now being delivered directly to your audience on Facebook. This lets you confirm that your stream is active, check video and audio quality, and engage with comments in real time. That wraps up our walkthrough of setting up and streaming to a single destination with the Live U Solo Pro. But what if you need to go live on multiple platforms at the same time? In our next video, we'll show you how to stream to up to three destinations simultaneously using stream tools. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Want an expert help? Join our WhatsApp group here. It's free, helpful, and full of streaming pros like you.